Talk to me about your book, The Honeymoon Effect. Yeah. What that was all about, if you can explain it. <laughs> okay, uh, The Honeymoon Effect is this. This is the whole story of uh, the Matrix. Matrix, uh, you've been programmed. Oh, we're going to take a red pill and get out of the program, okay? Falling in love is the equivalent of taking the red pill biologically because scientists have studied what is called mind wandering. I say, what is mind wandering? I say, well, your conscious mind could be focused on a task or your conscious mind could go off into a, you know, think about things, okay? Uh, and, and the relevance about that is when the conscious mind is staying in the front, you're in absolute control, wishes, desires, what you want, conscious mind, creative, you're in control. But the moment your conscious mind takes off into a thought or starts thinking or whatever going on, uh, it lets go of the wheel, the autopilot takes over, okay? So the idea is this, if your mind is wandering, then you're being run by the subconscious. Uh, uh, and it turns out, this is very negative. When your mind is straightforward in consciousness, you're, uh, you're controlling the vehicle. So I say, falling in love has been demonstrated biologically to be equivalent to the red pill, because what it does is it keeps you, what do they call, mindful, keeps you conscious. Look, you've been looking for this partner your whole life. They're now in front of your face. This is not the time to go thinking about things. It's time to be, oh, look what I got right here in front of me. And I say, well, think about it this way. Your life could suck every day, every day, every day, every day. And then you meet this person and 24 hours later, it's heaven on earth. 24 hours later, oh my God, I'm so in love. You know, even the job's not so bad anymore. And the food tastes great. And the music is so much better. And love and love and love. I go, what the heck happened? You had all of this negative, negative, and then in 24 hours, you have this heaven on earth. And the answer was, it was taking the red pill. That's what falling in love is. At that moment, you stop playing the program. Now you're operating from conscious mind, which is creative, which by definition is wishes and desires. Brian, what, what the heck do you want from your life? If you answer that question, it's a creative answer, and by definition, it's conscious. So your wishes and desires are in your conscious mind. In a normal person's life, 5% of the day, <clears throat> you're moving toward that. 95% you're playing the program. You fall in love, 100, it was actually 90%, I think is the number, 90% from conscious mind. 90% of the day, you are now operating from creative wishes and desires. I go, look, I said your life sucked all the way up, and then 24 hours of operating on wishes and desires and not playing the program turned earth into heaven for you at that moment. And, and then you go, well, how come the honeymoon doesn't last? And I go, because inevitably you still have to think about things, your job, your chores, your requirements, what you have to do. And at some point, once you start thinking, then the conscious mind is shut off. And guess what shows up? All those behaviors in the subconscious mind that were negative, 70%. And your partner, remember, your partner and you fall in love, same time, both of you operating from conscious mind with wishes and desires. And all of a sudden, you start thinking and then this behavior shows up that was your mother, your father, whatever thing you learned, and your partner's like, where the hell did that come from? Who are you, is a response. It's like, where did that come from? I, you know, we've been in this honeymoon. I've never seen that behavior. If you would have played that behavior on the first date, maybe we wouldn't have a second date, but now it shows up. And I say, why did it show up? Because I stopped being mindful. Okay, so how do you teach people to keep the honeymoon alive? is to change the, the subconscious program. <clears throat> and, and it's simple for reason, reasoning is simple. Conscious mind, wishes and desires. Subconscious mind, program. Well, what if you took the wishes and desires and made those programs? Ah, then guess what? You don't even have to think about it. You will automatically, 95% of the day, be playing behaviors to manifest those wishes and desires. Okay. So reprogramming the subconscious with wishes and desires means you don't even have to think about it you will be successful. Continue watching this fascinating conversation for free by clicking on the link below to visit our website, learn from the best minds in the world, and connect with a community of passionate people building the best versions of themselves. Just click on the link below, and I'll see you on the inside.